Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 2 to 12. That is, what is the difference between delete and truncate in SQL? Let me answer. So this is a software testing interview question, but the question that I am asking here is related to SQL. There is no surprise guys, because uh, when you attend software testing interviews, okay, you will not be only asking the questions purely from software testing, but also you will receive the questions from SQL also. So you should be good at SQL. So what you can do is, I have created a separate course on SQL from scratch, okay? So find that course and uh, you can prepare from there okay so prepare for sql from there and uh, get confident in sql and uh, later you can come to this question and you can easily able to understand the answer for this question okay so you can expect sql questions in software testing interviews okay that's the reason i am covering at least few uh, software testing questions uh, related to sql in this series okay fine so let me answer this question anyhow. So what is the difference between delete and truncate? So what is the difference between delete and truncate in SQL? Okay. So both will do the same thing, first of all. Okay. Delete will delete the records in uh, tables. Okay. Whereas truncate in SQL also will delete the records in the table. But what is the difference? What is the exact difference between delete and truncate? So in case of delete, guys, uh, we can either delete few of the records or all the records okay there is a possibility there is a flexibility in delete okay in delete if you are using delete statement in sql there is a flexibility of deleting only one or few records or all the records up to you okay and this uh, delete falls into the dml category data manipulation language category of sql statements okay and after deleting guys there is a possibility of rolling back okay let's say there is a table having 10 records and you deleted five records from the table but there is a possibility that you can roll back okay you can reverse the deletion process okay you can get the uh, deleted records back that is a uh, back to the 10 records again that possibility is there okay it acts like a temporary delete sometimes okay so that's what is the delete statement but what about truncate how it is different from delete as I mentioned you already in the first statement uh, in delete, you have the flexibility of deleting one or few or all the records, but in truncate, all the records will be deleted at a once. Okay. There is no flexibility of deleting few of the records. Okay. So when you say uh, truncate means it will clear all the delete, all the records at a go. Okay. And it falls into the DDL category data definition language category of SQL statements, whereas delete belongs to DML data manipulation language, whereas truncate belongs to data definition language category of SQL statements. SQL statements can be categorized into different categories like DML, DDL, and many other are there, TCL and all those stuff, okay? Where delete falls into DML and truncate falls into DDL, fine? So delete will delete, all, uh, deleted records can be rolled back, I told you, right? There is a possibility of getting the deleted records back uh, because in some situations it is a temporary delete only it's not a permanent delete okay but coming to truncate it is a permanent delete once you delete you cannot do anything to get it back get the records back okay there is no possibility of rolling the records back or getting the deleted records back but in delete there is a possibility so i cannot explain everything in detail and practical because these things are already covered as part of my other course on sql uh, which is uh, covered for beginners from scratch in a detailed manner. You can go through that course and go through this delete and truncate and come back here and you will be able to answer this. Uh, you will be able to understand this question easily, guys. Okay. So that's all. Uh, that's all for this session. So in the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.